try using. Uh oh, hold on. Let's try this. Hello, 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 hello. Here we go. Okay. Hey. Okay. So this this thing gets unplugged. Thank you. Oh dear. Oh. Okay. Now you can hear me sing. Big bottoms, big bottoms. Talk about muck that my girl's got them. Big bottoms drive me out of my mind. How could I leave this behind? That's right. Oh yeah, Spinal Tap. That was as a reference. Yeah, Fat Bottom Girls. I've been singing with my band across the water, across the land. I seen every blue-eyed floozy on the way. <laughs> what was it? But that I, I can't remember the worlds. Yeah, we're all big planes. We're doing big planes with big engines. Uh, this is uh, why I need to actually fix the weapon manager so I can actually see who's doing what. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah. Queen, uh, obviously, is fantastic. And yes, Spinal Tap making their Queen reference is pretty special. Uh, no, but you, I might talk about uh, the tight. Oh, dear. Oh, man. That is uh, that is like the Who. You're smashing up. Oh, oh! Look at this thing still flying. Look at it go. Look at it go. Oh, oh! Wait a second. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> okay, and this is drifting out. Uh, this thing seems to be doing some interesting stuff with the uh, actuation. So these are the only two that are really actually flying. I think basically it lost its uh, vertical stabilizer, so it was just sort of doing U-turn, uh, doing loot. EJ! EJ is here! Did, does EJ come on as a guest judge? Should we, should we go straight into the video? Shall we? Uh, maybe we should actually find the video. Uh, let me just do this. Let, let's, let's find the video and, uh, EJ can actually judge this. <laughs> let's do it. We're gonna go straight video links. Which one? Are you saying that we should just play, like, Conquer Droids and Ellipse's video? We should do this, right? We should get this set up. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Let's wait for this round to win. Should we wait for the round to win? Can we do this? Oh, hamburgers. The new Ace Combat is looking pretty spectacular. That's right. These guys, they just can't seem to... Uh... Oh, are we going to lose it? Is it going to hit the ground? Oh, it's so close to hitting the ground there. It's so close. Oh, it's getting hit hard. It's losing bits. I think this may be it. But there is some speed issues here. Look at this. It, these things can take so much punishment. Oh, it's got both. It's it's down. It's lost its wings. It's oh, it's ditching the engines for extra performance now, right? So it can stay airborne. It loses that extra mass or or something like that, right? <laughs> Does this have any propulsion left? I think it has an engine still. That yeah, it still has one engine in there. Look, it's like so close. Whoa! Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> look at this! The reversal! We got it under the other side. Oh my God! Oh! What a turnaround! What a turnaround! Man! Wow. Oh, wait, but it's still going to make sure he doesn't crash into the ground. That's it! Victory! What an epic comeback! What an epic comeback. Somebody wants to see one of the videos before uh, why EJ is here, right? So we're going to switch this over. And uh, as we know, we have a video. We, we are primarily here to judge the art of this round. But uh, we have... 
Conquer Drive and Eclipsio's little uh, video. Eclipses, yeah. Well, let's let's put the sound up. Uh oh, we get a glitch. Oh man, the internet. The internet is just. But it's one louder. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Come on, internet. L let me just check. It, let, let's do this at 1080p just to be sure. <sighs> let's just reload this entire page. Let's reload the page and see if it fixes. Oh, gosh. What the deuce? It's 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 loaded and it's just not playing. It's focused. It's focused. Like, yeah, this is this is YouTube doing this. Yeah, I don't know if I can close Chrome because this is part of the thing, right? What I'm gonna do. Let's let's just nuke this. Let's actually try to pop it up in Firefox. See if that works. That makes no sense at all. But let's try it. Oh look, we've got don't have dark mode going on here. Ooh, spooky. Oh wow, wait a second. We get some best offs going on here. That's everyone coming to join Runway Project, right? Oh, that's right. That's right, the her hero ended up on the ground. Having flashbacks to all the great trailers that Conco produced. Well, he manifested all the sick, all his buddies. Eclipsio and Eclipse are not the same person. Sorry. In three days? Wow. It's true, I've managed to offload most of my Kerbal playing to uh, AI at this point because I spend most of my Twitch streaming playing Runway Project using this. We, we are going to have to come back to this. So yeah, uh, let, let's actually just play continue this running for now. While we think about what goes on, um, 
yeah, that was an amazing victory for just Hosuhe or whatever, right? Three days total, including rendering time. That is amazing. Like, and to think that three days ago, I was still coming back from Arizona or something like that. Wait a second. Yesterday, Randy. Yeah, no, I was back. But yeah, that's, that's wild. Good job. So yeah, the theme of this round of runway project is uh, big bottoms, right? Big things with big guns doing big bada bada boom bing boom ba boom gunships there we go look at this these are big oh is that a klingon there that is a klingon bird of prey right or a romulan or some romulan warbird uh whatever it is it's already taking hits i love that these things take so much damage and keep flying Listen to the sound there! Gunship! It's Halcon, this damn key. Okay, that is the warbird disintegrating behind the. Oh! But that is them flying into a, a mountain by the looks of things. And Gunko going head on there. I like that these are all just big and beefy. They have these 57 millimeter auto cannons. It would be cool if uh, E-War could actually be a useful strategy in this. You'd have to actually get the ass. Look at that there. Do you see this? Really beautiful maneuvering and turning inside there. Oh wait, are they both gonna come out? It comes out. Oh, but maybe not that one. Suicidal insanity is like about that. Yeah, we know we know how to make it work. We just need the AI to work on it. But yeah, it would be interesting if uh, fog of war began to be a useful thing. Well. Uh, lost a chunk of the plane there. Losing more chunks of plane. I think this is spinning out of control. It's lost all the tail stabilizers. I like challenging terrain because you know what? I like things flying into terrain. It makes for excitement. It also makes for glitchy graphics apparently. I don't have any graphics mods installed. You know what it might be interesting? It's to have spaceships where uh, the visibility moves at the speed of light. So, uh, the, except make the speed of light really slow. So that you can totally do the Picard maneuver. <laughs> right? Have, have runway project, right? Where the speed of light is at the speed of sound. There you go. And then have their uh, knowledge of the play field be based upon, you know what they saw a few, uh, you know, based on light cones. There you go. <laughs> We've got some really interesting objects. Look at this thing. These things almost fly so much slower. It's almost like the... The camera needs to be recalibrated for the switch rate. Uh, we've already done it in space. In fact, we have the technology to make air work in space, I believe. Ecliptic Industries! Cutting around the inside there. Taking some hits, but still alive. Oh! There we into the ground there. 
<laughs> a little, little tugboat here. <laughs> Against the gun. And we, this is like the tank plane. A Loti Man Army 2015. Hello, Michigan Ryan, Clitchy Beta. We've already said hi to Sir John V. QDMC 12, Suicidal Insanity, Inchato, Colby K. Pilot. Mara MK RCS Inkelberg. And uh, what ha what as um S Tudios. I don't know how that word fits together. Okay, I need to now write something. I gotta write a thing to do a thing. Pardon me, I gotta add this code to do this thing. Okay. Sorry. Just gotta. I just realized I have to submit code before midnight. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Ah. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That should work. Oh! <laughs> what a save, Studios. I know. <laughs> I know! I joke! I joke! I joke! That's how you pronounce it. This is, this is supposed to be the boat, right? Strangely enough, it flies pretty well, but I think it would sink. But yeah, maybe so 83 may finally put this thing down. Oh, what a shot! It's an Orlicon cannon. Okay, whatever that is. It's a tank turret with wings, yeah. I mean, it makes total sense, right? Okay, what have we got here? Unstable plutonium. We have. Uh, hold on, I gotta select the. There we go. Select. Okay, well, this is Easy Bro. And this is Space Ghost. Ooh, nice. This, <laughs> this is like a blimp from Splagada. Uh, this is a hippo, okay. Oh wow, easy. <laughs> that is not good. Oh, look at that! I'm on fire! Ah! Maybe so. Maybe there's a stabilizer top of plutonium that nobody knows about. Damn, everyone's crashing into the ground here. It's almost like I made the ground a little rougher than, than all the training. I guess Splagata is the only one flying here. Good job! Uh, I, I haven't had a chance to play around with Star Citizen recently. Right, so the book, The Gods Themselves, that's the one where there are multiple parallel dimensions with different versions of the, para the like, your know, constants. And so there's aliens on one level that are sending stuff over with a different value of the uh, strong nuclear force. And so they send us, like, heavy materials that decay and we send them lighter stuff that decays in the other direction. We both get energy. Right? 
And I think at some point there's a realization that we're actually contaminating the universe with a stronger, strong nuclear force, and eventually it will make the sun uh, go fast and explode. Uh, I, I might try Starfield if they send me a copy, but you think I've got time to actually buy and play something? No. Okay, this thing is just falling. Ugh, so much for that. Here's the guitar again. Hitting those bass notes there. Oh, thanks. I, the flight termination video, I, I wish I had spent more time on it. Um, I just kept on finding new things that I wanted to talk about. Damn, the, the warbird just flew into a, a, a hillside. Oh, man. Nice sounds there. There you go. Okay, so we've got the hippo versus the big rifts. <coughs> yeah, it was really Tory Bruno. Look, um, I have a, I have a, a note from Tory that he sent me a couple of days ago. He's, uh, he just likes, uh, I mean, he really is quite supportive of all the space studio things. Um, but yes, I have a thing. If you give me a moment, I can show you all. Since we're talking about big things, he sent me this big thing. It's a Vulcan. It's quite substantial. There we go. Uh, 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 there, so it goes all the way through here. It's the six booster version. So it's the biggest Vulcan super style. And there's another cool thing that I got from my visits to ULA, which uh, not everyone appreciates, but I'm like super, I super love, is uh, this little baggie of Swarf, right? This is basically stuff that you're machining out of uh, the rocket, right? So the way, so basically, this is part of the material that was machined off when they were making the first Vulcan booster. The one which is we're gonna see soon, like in coming days, we're gonna see a fully integrated Vulcan on the launch pad. Yeah, they machine. So what happens is they take, like, you know, sheets of, of aluminium like that thick, and then they machine it down to be as thin as possible and leave just the ridges. Are we flying safe? Sorta. With all those engines, that is that will definitely help the safe fly. Kind of surprised that big big uh, rifle is still flying. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! It's got some stability issues. <laughs> but it somehow won. Yeah, it gently landed.
I don't know why. I need a better username is asking me about KSC boundaries and I'm just going to be honest and say I don't actually know. Anyway, I, we are supposed to be judging art so we should all probably switch over and start looking at the art situation. I'm just going to pull the art stuff over here so that I can see it. Uh, 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 uh. And let's actually take a look at the images. Seven epic dragons. So yeah, we're supposed to be ju we're supposed to be passing judgment, right, on these images. And remember, the theme is big bottom. So I I'll just be clear, right? The actual there is actually a guide that was set out for me that explains big bottoms, swag girls got them. Rock the world with big planes, big guns, and giant explosions. No real secret sauce other than a custom. 57 millimeter super cannon by of course suicidal insanity right the real secret sauce was mass where players choose between a nimble lower weight with a limit with very little fire or for a huge behemoth with all the firepower available most folks built for heft uh, we did have quite a few flying skyscrapers insects yes we're very looking around Ah, uh, okay. So anyway, I'm supposed to judge these scores. And, and honestly, 7 Epic Dragon, um, great, um, okay. The exact opposite of a stretch limo, as in it's, it's it looks more perpendicular, like it's been stretched in, yeah. Yeah, which font is that? And why is the text, the blue text, or sorry, the blue background with the red text, just ruining my eyes. One thousand seven or one million seven thousand. What? What am I supposed to get from this? Uh, I <laughs> honestly, that's a four. Antonio Del Mar, our headquarters. <laughs> uh, this is fifty-seven Ecker Street, San Francisco, nine four one zero five. We don't wait for the police to enforce our patents. Heinrich building innovative solutions. Wait a second. I gotta hit Google Maps. I <laughs> uh, 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 what was it? 50 San Francisco. Uh, maps. Right, what was the address? 57 Ecker Street. I mean, is it down here? Okay. That didn't really help. There? Oh, there it is. Oh, Jesse, uh, between first... Wow, that's, uh... That's really close to where I work. Uh, actually, isn't that near, um... This is near Golden Gate University, that's right. And it's also near the Chinese place. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess you get this. Is that it? Is that the thing we're supposed to be doing? The empty lot on the left. In there? With that building? So anyway, wait a second. Let me, let me take a look at this thing. I'm going to say, hold on, that's not right. I'm sorry, because that's taking off from the wrong place. If that's taking off from Ecker Street, it should be to the right of Salesforce Tower from that uh, angle. So yeah... It's, it's out of date. Yeah, I know. It's like, what kind of person talks about archae you know, geography and puts it in the wrong place? Look, look, let's let's zoom out here, right? Right, we're talking about Ecker Street is down there. Oh, how do we do this? Ah, you do this, right? And there's Jesse Street. There's Golden State, right? This is, this is Ecker Street here. So this is the... Is it this building here that's been destroyed? 
This one here, this has been torn out, right? I think that's the one we're talking about. It's getting replaced. But point is that it's there and Salesforce Tower is there. Therefore, right, that's where it's going to happen. It's on the wrong side of Salesforce Tower. Right? Sheesh. So yeah, nice for having some local reference. Please don't stalk me. <laughs> I haven't ridden the, the new Muni to Chinatown. Uh, but yeah, you. so you're going to get uh, six points mostly because you took off from the wrong side. You would have got more if you took off from the correct side, right? Also, what what's this building here? That's... That's not a real building, is it? That's a new one then. It did the safety thing. Anyway, <laughs> we don't wait for the police to enforce our patents. Baron von Splachhausen. That's right. What could go wrong with a guns and a hundred tons of hydrogen? A um, hundred tons of hydrogen. Is that really how much is used? That's San Francisco from Enterprise. I see. Okay. <laughs> you did a dog leg maneuver. Uh, the wunderbar. What can go wrong? So so now I'm wondering, 100 tons of hydrogen, that would be a lot. How much volume would that... Is that how much, how much hydrogen was in the Hindenburg? Okay. Well, you, you weigh it. You could, hydrogen has mass. Uh... Sorry, I'm asking and Googling how much mass. Yeah, total mass of hydrogen gas in the Hindenburg was about 18 tons. Right, yes. So, uh, 100 tons of hydrogen. Splag does have video. Yeah, of course, because he's out of order. Wait, wait how, where does he have it? It's not, it's not listed here. It's not in the video. Somebody needs to drop the link in the chat in logins now. Because there is no uh, link to to Baron von Splagadas. Splaghalsen. Because it's not in the dock. So if there's a video, they better sit drop it now. He didn't do a video this time. Okay. There we go. Normally he would do a, 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 a video... But in this case, we don't. And it's a sort of very simple thing. And he totally got the number of tons of hydrogen left. That's wild. That's He got it wrong by a factor of five. This thing would sink. And where is the moustache? Splagada, I don't know. what You are definitely behind. Uh, you're off this time. <laughs> Approximately fills the entire volume of the... <laughs> the enter... Yeah, okay, so it's nice to have this rendered thing. I have no idea where it comes from, so I'm not going to give him credit. Maybe it's five times bigger than the Hindenburg. Maybe. I doubt it. Because if it were five times bigger than that Hindenburg, then this railing here would be for giants. Right? <laughs> so, yes, we just have some uh, mechs here. We need to give them a safety railing. Pretty sure that's rendered in dis stable diffusion. Okay. Maybe it is, but it's it's only a seven pointer. Conquer Droid. Now we've already watched the video. Do we want to watch it again? Maybe we'll watch it again. Just for those people that weren't here earlier. I just gotta relax a little more. Whew. Good stuff. Uh, the rocket probably had the most hydrogen on board. I expect would be either Delta or Shuttle. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe the Saturn V. I guess it has a lot of hydrogen in its second stage. It 
So how much do we score this? Nice timing on that. It's hardly a stealth helicopter, by the way. Uh, Pronga, just remember that some of the... Sometimes just having a good image or good design is worth more than having a fancy video. MS Paint still gets points. It's totally true. Extra points for just drawing it by hand. That's a cool old style computer, by the way. Who's reminded, by the way, Eclipsio and Eclipse are not the same person. In three days. Wait, okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching in three days. So look, uh, what do we score this? Come on, I want to hear the audience give me some feedback on what they think this thing was worth. Because I don't want to be, like, I don't want to just be your leader. I want to be your, your inspiration and your... Wow, okay, you guys getting seven, eight, nine, four twenty. So four How did that get rendered in less than three days? Modern hardware. My <laughs> Okay. The highest I've seen is a nine. Nobody said a ten that is really uh you know not biased. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna give it a, a an an ugh. okay. I see a few nines. I think I think I do. It does deserve an eight and a half. It's more than I've done. Now, but yeah, you know, he admitted it's only three days worth of work. So now, does this count for Eclipse? Do we have to give Eclipse eight and a half? Maybe we should give it nine points because Eclipse, you know, is cool as well. Don't take this the wrong way. Still, actually, the the plane does honestly, it's the plane design that uh, is is dragging this down a little, cause it just it just doesn't look. It it I don't know. The weird the weird pylon location and the engines and stuff. Terrible visibility, but very good looking video. And it has the blue. Look at the amount of blue. It looks like a Boeing. Dastardly is got some very cool Sentinel. The Sentinel. <laughs> it actually looks like a superhero. So yeah, I'm going to say 10 out of 10 for this one. There's nowhere else I can go with this. I love the look of the, the superhero. Like even got the fingers and everything. That is so beautiful. The wing, the cape. If the only does the cape flutter in the air? No, of course not. Looks like it has some swollen engines. <laughs> this is a ten pointer just for concept. Delta L go Delta. Friendship ended with A ten. Now BFS is best fighter bomber. A <laughs> ten. There's no way a fifty eight ton aircraft can dogfight. 
Okay, a normal day at KSC. Uh-oh, we had another glitch. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Okay, gonna have to switch this over. Maybe it'll play now. Nope. Okay, we're pausing this and we're going to play it on Firefox because clearly YouTube is just misbehaving. Well, I'd have to actually log into Firefox. I'm logged into different accounts on my Firefox. Sorry, I don't understand. Oh yeah, SLS has more hydrogen than uh, the shuttle, obviously. Hey! <laughs> I, I gotta say, I like the the act of control surfaces on the, or no, the, the act of thrust vectoring. Good shooting! Damn, really laying it down there! <laughs> yeah, why did you put a dorsal bombay in it? Like, why, why would you do so that? So all the planets in this game have their own sphere of influence? Wait, wait, wait. Who, who cares? So, wh why did you put a Bombay in Upside Down? Like, you're building the plane, why don't you just put a regular Bombay in it? But you, you can? Uh, I mean, look, it does seem to me, I guess, that you don't need to have extra windows for the bomb person. You just need a... Uh... You know, you just need the, the windows up top and uh means you're sort of reducing the amount of glass. You don't need a special bomber position because the pilot can see everything, right? Okay, it doubles as a bomb collector too. <laughs> you gotta do that for the Emelmans. Nice job. I, I'm gonna give this a, an eight points for just destroying the space center. Good job, ish. Okay, where are we? Where are we? The BF, oh, like, and, and also, actually, sorry, did I say eight points? Eight and a half points because of all the meme references. Sure, Grandma, let's get you to bed. There's no way a 58-ton aircraft. The guy she told you not to worry about. Breadth first search. <laughs> that doesn't belong in a museum. It doesn't have... Yep. Dark nappers with the Helvetica font and was it Comic Sans? Anisotra Anisoptri Anis Anisoptera Gigantis. It means a bug with big eyes, right? Let's see if from the Scorpius Mechanicus at the volcanic cracks of Moho, we now shift our focus to the tranquil lakes of Leith. Oh, well, nice! An exquisite specimen of the species, Anisoptera gigantis, is drying its wings after newly emerging from its larval form, in which it. Ah! Uh, this is so frustrating, YouTube. YouTube, you have failed me. From the Scorpius Mechanicus at the volcanic cracks of Moho, we now shift our focus to the tranquil lakes of Leith. When an exquisite specimen of the species, Anisoptera gigantis, is drying its wings after newly emerging from its larval form, in which it has spent the last six months, the wings of this remarkable creature are so large and delicate that 
once airborne. It must lock them in place and rely instead on <laughs> rotations of its thorax in order to maneuver gracefully through the thin atmosphere. Okay, somebody where it will spend didn't much turn of its on... adult life cruising on the high altitude jet stream. Somebody didn't Shut turn on collisions. This world before returning to this exact location of the mate in order to lay its eggs for the next generation, allowing the cycle of nature to continue. There is no doubt that this truly is a remarkable creature. It's nice to have the Attenborough reference, but hey, majestic. There you go. From the I like the, the scorpions are from previous one as well. Doc said he just got lucky. No unbreakable. Yeah, I sort of have some skepticism on that front. But uh, yeah, whatever. Nice full on video and stuff for that. I actually do like the I do like the whole, you know, narrative and the aping of the style of the BBC. So that that that's going to get a nine points. Even though it's just incurable, it's just like there's a your production design you worked on. This is Eclipse, which I'm going to say Eclipse is going to get nine and a half points because this is a way cooler plane. That's really what it comes down to. <laughs> yeah? Because we've already seen that. Easy bro! Are those canards? Maybe. Runway Project SR, SSR 07. Size matters. Which one are the actual? Oh, that's shooting. So this is easy bro flying. Uh, wow, look at those engines in that. It's almost like a World War One plane with a swept wing where they're just like slapping wings on there. Everything. And it's shooting at Metacelsus floaty McPlane Flace. Flace. Flace? Yes, my McPlane Flace. Did you see it? I'm Scotty McPlane Flace. Flace the music I shall. Okay. Um. It's obviously a, a process card or something. Scott Flanley, yes. Easy Bro, May 23, a 45 ton hang glider killing a 54 ton ship. Has there been. We did a seaplane episode and people complained that I switched the. Uh, the planet to uh, Lathe without telling them as if they didn't expect that <laughs> fly, fly safely fly. yes uh, anyway um, I mean this is fine I'm not sure stylistically it looks like a plane it just looks like a lot of engines strapped to a wing but, uh, yeah, they also complained. Well, see, Eve C playing round. Wow. I'm going to give this seven and a half. Chris Glass, hippo in a tutu, joyfully dancing through the air, graceful, deadly, an unarchiveled turn fighter. Sure, it's 50 tons. She's not lightweight, but with clean, sleek lines and a huge power, this hippo leads a ballet of destruction. Hippos are actually kind of scary. But I'm going to give it a six and a half points. Ham and eggs. Zoop, boop, 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 boop. A boring plane. Is this, this legal or does it have much bigger stuff? No, there's no video I could see on this list. Nope. Doc Nappers was the last video that is on this list. Well, I mean, there's more ones later, but it was the next one on this list. Still hand drawn that's right real style i don't know if it's actually representative of what we've got in there but i think we should definitely respect that and give it a uh, seven points aha the hexagonal prism of shame <laughs> okay okay right see I'm, i've got a cat that's got a cone on right now that was that was um yeah I'm going to give this, like, nine points. <laughs> Just from... It's so ridiculous. Plus, I cannot believe this thing won that round after losing its wings and engines and everything. Maybe so, 83. Encyclopedia Kerbographica. The Turreter Swan is the largest extant feature uh, species of waterfowl because 
Like the Kraken, it never stops growing during its life. It also makes the heaviest and longest bird with the widest wingspan. There are two major subspecies of the turret or swarm, the Erlkin and the Goalkeeper, which are designed by their different bills. While the Goalkeeper bill is long, as wide as has a reflective pearlesque line running its length, giving the impression of slender double vil- bills. The Erlkin's bill is black, very long and tapered. It can be nearly as long as a swan's body. Okay. When the course of Kerbal in the course of Kerbal events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands that have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station with which the laws of nature and laws of God entitle them a decent respect for the opinions of Kerbal kind. Okay. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all Kerbals are created equal. They are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. To secure these rights, government instituted, among other among, among Kerbals, deriving their just powers from the contract of the government, that when ever, ever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends. It is the right of the peoples to alter it. I am falling asleep! The life, liberty, and pursuit of snacks. These are basically... Wait, there's multiple sizes that were tested? Yeah, too long didn't read. Um, it's, a, it's like a ship gun. It's not like a tank gun. Wow. So it's bigger than I thought. Which one actually flew in the, the game? <clears throat> I know I'm I'm like uh, again this is why I'm so far behind cuz I get I have sleep issues. The big the big one flew in the game. So I'm going to give that uh like 8 points for actually writing all that out. Metacelsis actually has a video. Let's see if this works. No, oh, no, we got to do this again. Oh. So Awful. Here we go. It's going to be amazing, right? It's Lodi McLean Place. Yay! Ula Hoop. Ula Hoop 09. Who is that? Great. Uh, that gets 10 points for the song. That's it. 10 points for that song. Like, let's listen to it again. I just wish I had a uke with me. Brilliant, 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 brilliant! Okay. You see, this is why... <laughs> this is why we run this. I mean, come on. See, this is it. I 10 points, 10 points. That's it. This is totally loved it. I totally loved it. Oh my god, it's a monster. Monster. Kerbalian Sky Monster by Nuclear Umbrella. 39 tons, 4 Goliaths, 537 millimeters and a reasonable design and it's black and white and it's typeface let's give this six out of ten cootie mc mr lonely mark four heavy welcome to the family you know that uh sky bought me a t-shirt off the rock at with wearing sunglasses and stuff and she's like i think it looks like you Welcome, Mr. Lonely and Mark Four Heavy. Welcome to the family. We have a fairly expansive family here. Let's look at the rest. 
I, I need to, I'm going to just put this straight into uh, this. What is going on here? <laughs> what is going on? I'm guessing not having gravity helps this thing fly, right? Do these things all have, like, self-gravitation? Is that what's going on? Oh my god, it's magic! How did they do that? How did you do that? I am blown away by your video making skills. How did you manage such special, like... <laughs> uh, La Cafedora clearly uh, understands how this was shot, but doesn't understand sarcasm. <laughs> well, I mean, what are we going to do? Like, it's like... See, look, we can play it backwards and make it look the way it actually happened. Gee, waka 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 waka. Yeah, just reversing the flow of time with the fact that it is basically distorting space time in general. The red video line was clearly moving left to right. Yeah, that's right. But uh, how do, how do we know? It's a tribute to 1970s avant-garde cinema, obviously. Obviously. So, uh... I'm, like, honestly... Like, great that you came. Welcome to the family. I just realized that's Vin Diesel. Hilarious. <laughs> it's been the rock. <laughs> like, I, I, yeah, okay, look, they're both in Fast and Furious movies, right? It's Harvin. I am Groot. <laughs> you know, you know, he speaks, uh, like, Half a dozen languages when he does Guardians of the Galaxy. He does all of Groot's lines in all the different languages. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he apparently dubbed uh, multiple languages for, guard for his lines in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Anyway, um, boy... I guess I gotta give it extra bonus points because I confused. <laughs> oh yeah, he probably gets good, works well in terms of residuals, right? Uh-oh, I get an exclusive upgrade offer that I need to kill here. I need to know these applications I've installed. What was I gonna say here? Uh, Mr. Lonely Heavy, Mark IV, welcome to the family. Okay, uh, I guess you're gonna get six and a half points for that. Ah, yes, the K uh, car 15 by Sidestrafe. And there's a video for this? There's a video? Uh, there is a video by Robut uh, Copy Lick Earl. And we're going to watch the video. I think this is going to score highly as well. This is truly an inspired design. It's nothing about the video. It's really just the design concept here. Somewhere in Mexico. It's a gun ship. I got you. Oh, I, I love the detail on the, the suppressor and everything on it. Not the suppressor, the 
The barrel tip. Rifle. Wait, we have a shotgun versus something else? I've been muted this whole t Okay, it's okay. Give the subtitles to the Kirja. Where was I? Oh, I see. Shotgun! I didn't expect to see you here. How'd you find me? Ah, uh, you think you're so smart, but I've been here watching your every move the whole time. The director asked me to, so he wouldn't go too far with the act. Son of a bitch, always getting in the way. Do you two really think you can stop <laughs> the killing sitting that up there. thing? It's a blight on the runway project. How do you not understand? I understand all too well. You're jealous. What? You've been here a week. You're new. You want to make an impression. You want to get rid of the old guard, right? No, it's genuinely bloody disgusting, and even if I wasn't being paid to shoot it, I'd probably just put it out of its misery anyways. <laughs> was exactly. I made to suffer. <laughs> you're insecure, you're and proud, and you want everyone to know who you are. And that ain't happening. Mate, read the bloody subtitles. It's suffering. It was suffering the moment it was born. Just let me kill it, put it out of its misery, I can collect my money, and we can all walk away from this. Those squiggly lines are only a distraction. I'm here to see you and to stop you from acting upon your insecurities. <laughs> Wait, are you even listening to me? Can, can you hear me? Are, are you just talking to yourself? See, you're doing oh, boy, a mate. great I'm job. You. I'm so muted, glad you dumbass. you've come to Check your Discord. I'm so glad but we're friends. I don't have now. arms to wave at you, man. Just look at me. Don't have arms to wave good. at you. <laughs> what the I'm, hell are you I'm going on about? Friend, I don't. What are you trying to say to me? I don't understand you. You're just repeating yourself. You said this earlier. Do you need a doctor? I know one back at the. I know one back at the town. Um, I don't think he can help you with this, but. It doesn't help. You know what? Yeah, I'll take you there. I'm gonna shoot this guy. First. You cool with that? You don't. Okay. Yeah. You don't seem to be saying anything, so I'm just gonna shoot him now. All right. I'll take you to the doctor afterward. The fire explodes and they block me. Which. Actually, hold on. Here, let me send you a picture of my cat. Well, I think we all know that that's getting 10 points just for having... Not only is the spa the vehicle design amazing, <laughs> there's just some weird, chaotic stuff, and there's a cat in it! Cat! I'm Scottish, and even I am moved by the image of the kitty cat. How, how can I not like... Now, is Smorgasbord on here? Smorgasbord is in here as well, so obviously Smorgasbord will also get a 10. Aeronautica, Imperial... This actually... This totally looks like a, a, the this, this style. These are totally in line with the designs of the... the um, the 40k, right? Right, so I'm really happy that you've actually done this. This is definitely, like, you've got all the embossing, like, the, the design. Okay, I, I'm sorry, this is a nine-pointer for copying this. Congratulations, good job. I mean, no video, but damn, that's a very nice uh, tribute. And it works, I'm sure, right? And here's Smorgasbord, okay. Uh, obviously was involved in the collaboration. Look at this. Shotgun and everything. Is the sky upside down? Well, that's a metaphorical thing. So yeah, Smorgasbord for their involvement gets 10 points. Space Ghost. Screw you, Batman! Um, uh, is that yours? <laughs> okay, we, we have like a... Is this supposed to be the Batwing? Is that what's going on here? Uh, I, I don't know what this is, but... I don't really get... Oh, these... Jokes. Also, by the way, look, somebody just scaled this speech bubble rather than using the same size thing. Like, um, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm going to give this six points. Star Hunter. 
Okay, like, space goes coast to coast. I know, I remember. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at this. X cubed Y cubed plus Z cubed equals K. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Of course, it doesn't specify that K has to be an integer, so that's not a problem. Of course, it could be that uh, they're all zero, right? Or X could be one or whatever, right? You have to make sure that they're not all non-zero. Fine purveyors of the big E throughout history. Geezer Butler, Black Sabbath, Steve Harris, Iron Maiden, Rex Brand, Pantera, Tomorai Slayer, Let Me Kill My Star, Motorhead, Cliff Burton and Metallica, Frank Bell, Anthrax, Getty Lee and Rush, Flea, Rod, Help from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, John Paul Jones, Led Zeppelin and Les Claypool, Primus. So this is supposed to be a bass guitar, which explains why it keeps flying into the ground, right? Oh, it's true. Yeah, K could actually be whatever. That's <laughs> Here's me thinking hard. Honestly, still gets point for bass love, right? Four string bass, right? Bass, how low can you go? A flying bass guitar capable of laying down the big E. Uh, a bit less, why isn't Les Claypool at the top of that list? I, just, just saying, you know? All your bass, I belong to us. Like, this, this is definitely like a, a nine-pointer for going with a bass theme. I really am a big fan. And Suicidal Insanity decided to bring up uh, a Romulan Star Trek ship, whatever. There's so many good points. I, I almost feel like I, I should... Uh, the points are so powerful on this round. Gene Rodden Kerman. You know KLF Eternal stands up, yes. <laughs> Captain, we've reached the Kovas system. <laughs> We're taking fire. Unknown target and vector. Evasive maneuvers. Send a distress signal. Captain, I'm picking up something dead ahead. We're being hailed. On screen. Ooh, nice camera work. You are trespassing on Sovereign Star Imperium territory. <laughs> Surrender or be destroyed. Return fire. Big mistake, Captain. Captain. Multiple contacts. Oh, man. God, I mean, oh wow, that is wild. <laughs> so, <laughs> the Halcon class warbird is this the last one? Sword of Crem Cremulus, yes, <laughs> Cremulus. Uh, that, that was that's a fantastic design just to start with. I would have probably given that like nine points just for the design, and with the video, that is absolutely a ten pointer. Right, so there's no doubt here that oh, yeah, congratulations on that. That is fantastic. Let's let's go back and watch some more shooty shooty. Well, uh, frankly, we can total up the points and maybe uh, somebody can tell me who's actually winning this, <laughs> winning this in general, because you know we've had a lot of uh, scoring going on, and uh, I need to find out those numbers at some point. The official combat scores, Grace Raz actually came out with his hippo on the tutu, in a tutu. 
the number one Metacelsus Floody McPlane place. Place. McPlane place! There's a missing E in there, obviously. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Damn, the superhero. Not so super now. Oh, man. People are just hitting the ground hard. Metacelsus is still going, though, in that ship. <laughs> Technically still airborne. If, if Metacelsus can avoid killing himself, though. The shame of the hexagon thing. Oh, but... The hexagon was, like, the absolute winner earlier. There's a whole lot of litho breaking going on. Yeah, we gotta score it highly so that they make more episodes of Curve Trek. Okay, what have we got? We get Delta Egg. This is ham and eggs. This is Delta Echo Delta. This is Seven Epic Dragon. Uh, this is maybe so 83 with a big gun and Conkadroid. Who always. Yeah. Yeah. Secret weapons of the Luftwaffe Lava vibe, yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. Always good to see planes, like, just disintegrating. There's no actual bombs involved here. It really does seem to come down to turn rate. The ones that are able to just outturn their opponents are quite easily able to get in position and stay there. He's just... Oh! Man, there it goes. Okay, well, he's coming in. We get another one. Another hostile there. Oh, don't... Oh, 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 Okay, it stayed out of there. So, seven epic dragon. Coming in with some shoots. Shooting. The parameters of this round were big guns and big engines. Big butts. So it's seven epic dragon. Oh, I was gonna say, maybe so 83 actually ended up taking that round. I like big butts again or lie. <laughs> Sir mix a lot, that's right. It's, it's more Queen style, it's definitely. It's actually Spinal Tap style. Yeah, I think these ones are not going to survive if I turn off the gravity over time. But I did like that style early on. That was one of my favorite rounds. <laughs> yeah! So much for that! Oh, here's the... Here's the dragonfly that doesn't actually flap its wings. And this appears to have lost control. I think they've had a turbine stall or whatever. A compressor stall, right? Wow, that's just a lot on fire. And this is into the ground. So now we've basically got the... The Orion. Uh, first Orion. 
And Star Hunter is on fire, but still flying. And yeah, the Eckert Street died, and First Orion is there. I wouldn't call Adam, I wouldn't call that an emotion, more like a survival instinct. Okay, I'm gonna copy some stuff. Okay, what have we got? Nuclear Umbrella. Do we have Obut Gurman Beer Guts? Okay. Ah, here we go. Yeah, the, the Imperial one. There we go. Warhammer 40k, which... Honestly, I, I love Warhammer 40k, but I spent more time design building things and building armies than ever actually playing games. Uh, that's just how it is. Homeless Ghost, hi! You're coming here to watch absolute chaos of Pew Pew in the sky. We have a Romulan Warbird, look at that. Just tearing that thing apart there. That is the kind of, oh, that is some cool camera work there. That's one for the ages. That is one for the ages. That video sequence, you better clip that. Yes. Well, I'm glad you brought friends. We're just winding down after watching some uh, shooting. I don't have a... I mean, I'm, I'm going to be getting to bed. Get this. This is uh, not steezy. Not able to fly. Whoa, look at that warbird there. Yeah, you did some space raiding. Ouch! I love the big ones because they break up into so many pieces, you know? Yeah, Suicidal Insanity's Warbird takes the day, even without the cloaking device. Lots of explosions. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta copy a file because I'm supposed to have a document created. So, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what else I can do right now. I was supposed to be recording a video about the Titan rocket, but you know, between Guardians of the Galaxy yesterday and, and this tonight, I'm still behind schedule. I, I do like the proportions of this thing, by the way. There's definitely a cool look there with the superhero, the flying superhuman, going head to head with the other... Oh. There's a lot of slow head to head passes here. There's Space Ghost. This is looking like a good round here. Oh, who was that that died? Splaga, the Baron von Splag Halsen. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the one that's supposed to be a gun, right? It's kind of... This has actually got some really good shots in it. I'm going to say this actually has some really good looking rounds. Because the frame rate, or the, the things are happening more slowly. 
So the breakups are a bit more spectacular. It's still working. Oh, look at that! Damn! Accidentally rammed! Oh, whoa, look at this! Legless! He's legless, I say that. Oh, we got another one! Where everyone's just smashing into each other! Who's still around? We're we gonna... We get this flying with only one wing. Can it stay airborne or will Space Ghost tear it up? We also have Dastardly Sentinel. Sentinel's just falling down. Yeah, this is still flying. Like, it has enough wings that it can sort of keep going. It just has to be careful near the ground. They're just flying around in circles here. Yeah, these guys are just flying in circles. I think what's going to happen is one will turn out to be better than the other. And I suspect that Space Ghost is probably, being undamaged, will probably be able to outturn the gun. But you never know. If it's all about G-forces, you know, I'd, I would expect the shorter. But it actually looks like uh, this thing's coming up. It's getting caught up. And therefore might actually get around on the inside and be able to take that shot. Well now Space Ghost is getting ahead. You think the ground will stop the battle? Well it is all the energy might look he's getting into position here. So close! Getting closer. Not much fuel left. Well, right. Uh, oh boy, yeah. About to run out of fuel here. And this has slightly more fuel by the looks of things. I guess it... Oh! Still shooting. It still has a little bit of fuel going on. Five minutes is the cap, so we're about to run out of time here. Is something going to happen? Oh, it's so close there to almost ending the round. It came within 10 meters of the ground. He's getting a shot. He's going to get a shot. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. What a, what a finale. What, is Space Ghost going to keep flying? Can we stricken? Oh, Space Ghost is holding his own! I think Side Strafe is falling from the sky, but I think it is going to be called as a draw! Damn! What a finale! But, oh, it is- Oh my- Yes! <laughs> Damn, if it only let it go just a little longer! There was a lot of- Wow. What a turn of yes, exactly. What a turn of events. I, I think it's funny the way that there's this flap, uh, or this control surface is right in front of the cockpit, and it kind of looks like Conquerdroid plane has eyebrows that are like, you know, like going, Ooh, look at that. Uh. Yeah, electro boom. That totally looks like it reminds me of electro boom. <laughs> it does. Shocking!
Does it have a full bridge rectifier? <laughs> Man, that ship is vicious! It all starts with a flying boat. Come on, that, oh, oh, there we go! So now we get the gunship versus floaty McPlane face. There, I said it this time. Oh, still pulling out here. Let's get some more shots in. I think, I think, I think that might be... That might be calling it. It's still flying. Oh. They're really, they gotta figure out their turn speeds and everything. Like, this is an important factor in, in the air maneuvering, right? You gotta go fast if you want to be able to turn hard. All right, there's like an optimal speed for your turning. And then, if, oh, did that take a hit? Damn, there, there was a collision going on there. This thing is like the Bismarck is just staying afloat after all that shot, but I think, I think Floating Floody McPlain Place hit the ground. They're all controlled by AI. Okay. This is basically, it's not quite a battle royale, but sure, yeah, it's uh, AI going against head-to-head. -head. But a lot of it is really the construction and design part, right? Okay. Dear. Oh, <laughs> so much for that. Oh, this one hasn't crashed yet. Yet. <laughs> yeah, that's another accelerated stall on that part. So we've got the bug versus the base. Actually, the base appears to have uh, quite a lot of interest. They're both after Star Hunter, both uh, Dog Nappers and Ecliptic Industries. Oh, but now, now there have been a, a switch. Now the. Anisoptera Gigantis is the target for two. And we've now got uh, Star Hunter is once again the focus of both of these. Oh! Getting close. The reason we're not playing Kerbal Space Program 2 is because we haven't got the mods to do all this. This takes a lot of modding. Oh, there we go. The base hit the base. And I think the bug is now tailless and therefore is going to have a hard time actually doing anything but crashing into the ground. I like, by the way, I never noticed the engine layout on that using the thrust reversers. That's actually pretty neat. Oh wait, this thing is flying again! The bug is still flying! But without a tailplane, it's going to have issues with stability, like uh, flying into the ground, for example.
It isn't live. No, this is recorded. Uh, sorry, this is live. I mean, it's been done, you know. Sorry, I gotta change the something here. There we go. Good. Uh, no, sometimes I record it and speed it up. This one is running real time. Also, I got a new faster computer, so I I. But even then, for certain ones, it's good to have the the re-recorded and speeded up thing. So what have we, we've got nuclear umbrella here. This is Smorgasbord with a shotgun. Uh, this is Hex Prism of Shame. The FC114 Stargazer. The Halcon class Warbird going head to head. And not coming out so good as a result. Yep. Uh, I don't think either of them are going to come out of that head-to-head -head joust. That cone of shame really doesn't care that uh, the target is clearly dead. Oh, not Steezy actually, I think, flew into the... may have... Somebody flew into the ground. The Cone of Shame is making some pretty good uh, head-on passes here. Maybe someone will get a bead on the Hex Cone of Shame. Uh, no, guess not. It is just Hex Prism against the Handboy. It appears that the the Hex is unable to maneuver out of position here. Maybe if it sheds a wing, it'll make all the difference. No, they all have finite fuel. People usually just load them up with enough fuel for one round. Or for the five minutes that it was supposed to fly. Still flying though. Still has engines, still has a wing. Now it's gone. <laughs> Locks engines with infinite fuel. That would imply a uh, jewel. There we go. Okay, so now. This goes. Oh. Why have I got two of these columns? Okay. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I gotta finish this. I'm drinking the Dreamland Spaceport by Henhouse. It is a very interesting looking design here involving secret agents, uh, secret air bases. Good morning, Splagada. You won a round, by the way. Yeah, so much for uh, that. That's what happened after the crashing. After that close pass. Oh, wow! Do you see that? Literally flying through the debris there. Uh-oh. Was this thing gonna recover? Space Ghost crashed and burned after crashing into the gun. That's another ram. The gun is just brutally powerful. It's technically, it's a CAR-16. Whatever, CAR-15? Yeah, sorry. I don't know the difference between a 16, a 15 and a 16 is. Oh, 16 would be full auto, I guess. Okay. As opposed to semi-automatic. That actually makes sense. Yeah, the, and the pilot is an open air kerbal sitting on the iron side. This one I like, but I really like the superhero. I like the fact that the flat, the fingers move like flaps. It totally looks like a, a real thing. And, but also the boat, there's so many good designs in this round. Any clippable moments in this episode? That's beyond my abilities at the moment. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the superhero is awesome, but unfortunately lost. I. So, I don't think there's any rules requiring the guns to be face forwards. The problem is the AI doesn't know how to use them. A superhero should have worn a cape. I think the superhero requires the cape for aerodynamics. Uh, I think this is uh, now going down. The other aircraft isn't quite sure how to deal with this slow death of the target. It's... Oh yeah, showing off by flying underneath it, huh? We get your planes and ships fighting each other. On the field of battle. That is totally savage.
Okay. Sorry, I was gonna do this. I gotta do this. There we go. And I gotta do this. I mean, we used to require that they actually take off from runways, but we haven't done that in a long time because it took such a long time for things to start. Although it was kind of important in round three where you had to take off and chase something that was headed upwards in a rocket, you know? Is it Dropway Project? Yes, exactly. We haven't had runway project using a runway in a very long time. We did do a round on Jewel, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, we did, uh, Don't Stop Me Now was the first round we did on EP. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, it's so beautiful! There was the SRB round on EVE was the first one we did. And then we did a seaplane round on, uh, Lathe. I think this is gonna have some trouble here unless it pulls out. I guess it didn't pull out. Yeah, so we're basically down to timing out. And that's it, Nuclear Umbrella barely takes the round. <laughs> I, I think we should have the, the, a, the, the scoring, like, make sure that if both things die, or both things are sitting on the ground, then they don't qualify for our full points. Okay. Congratulations, you won. Boom. Yeah, exactly. Self entrenching maneuver. <laughs> there we go. We're still running heats. This is great. You know what? I'm going to take this right out. Oh, yeah, I guess Blagada's getting down. Epic Dragon does not look like they're in control here. Looks like, uh, the shotgun is... Break! Oh, it's now a single barrel shotgun! <laughs> Let's hope the warbird doesn't accidentally fly into the thing that it's shooting. Where's the, the single barrel shotgun? Is it still flying? A single barrel shotgun is still actually viable. Yeah, we've got some redundancy going on here. Oh, the warbird just decided... Yet, I guess the Warbird didn't understand that the cloaking device doesn't protect it from crashing into the ground. You, even if the ground can't see you, you will still crash into it. No, oh, Smorgasbord has lost, uh, yep, I think that's it. They've lost their stabilizer, so they are no longer able to stay point in the right direction. Yep. Ecliptic Industries takes the day. I am going to finish and chill there and go to sleep and whatever. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I will see you all again soon. I'm a Scott and Manly. It's time for you to fly safe uh, and all those other things, right?
Seriously, I uh, also have a video about the history of the Titan missile, Titan rocket coming out, so uh, take, keep a look out for that. Bye!